In this Inkscape video, I'll be demonstrating how to manipulate text so that you can achieve a background shadow like you see here. It involves widening of the top of the text without changing the width of the bottom of the text. I'll also demonstrate how to use a filter to add snow to your text. I'll be using Inkscape version 0.48. So first I'll move this out of the way to give myself some space to work. And I'll start by selecting the text tool. And I'm going to type winter. And then I'm going to change the color to red and size it up a little bit. So I'm going to hit the selection tool and then I'm going to grab on this corner arrow here and then I press the control key while I size this up so that I can size it up proportionally. And then I want to make a copy of this text so I'm going to press control D and then I'm going to drag this copy down And while I was dragging, I was holding the control key so that I could drag it straight down. And then I'm going to change the color to black. And now I want to whiten the top of this text. And so I'm going to do that by drawing a shape with the Bezier tool. And then the text is going to take on the shape that I draw. So I'm going to choose the Bezier tool. Then right here is where I want the top of the text to start from the left side. So I'm going to press the left mouse button and release it. And then I'm going to drag this across here. And if I press the control key while I'm dragging, I'll get a perfectly horizontal line. And then I want to stop at the point where I want the text to be stretched to on the top right. And I'll click the left mouse button there. And then I'm going to bring it down to the bottom right side of this R. And at this point I've released the control key because I don't want completely horizontal or vertical lines. And so right at this corner of the R I'm going to press this mouse button once. And then I'm going to drag this over to the left side. And I am going to hold the control key now so I'll get a horizontal line. And I want to find the spot where I'm at the top left of this W because I want to find the complete left side of this text. So about right there I'm going to click the left mouse button again and then I'll release the control key and then I'll close this by clicking on the start point. And notice when I drew this that I started in the top left hand corner and I went in a clockwise manner around to create this. If I start in a different corner or I go counterclockwise instead of clockwise, I won't get the effect that I want to get. So the start point and the direction is important for this. The next thing that I'm going to do is to prepare the text so that it can be reshaped. So I'm going to go up to the selection tool and select the text. And I need to start by going up to the path menu and select object to path. And then I need to go to the object menu and select ungroup and then back to the path menu and select union. These three steps will prepare the text to be manipulated. Okay then the next thing that I need to do is while I have this text selected I need to select the shape that I drew with the Bezier tool. And I want them both to be selected at the same time. So while I have the text selected, I'm going to press the shift key and then click on this shape. And it's also important here that the text be selected first and this outline shape be selected last. Then I'm going to go up to the extensions menu and I'm going to go to modify path and select envelope. And this will change the shape of my text to the outline that I've defined. 
and then I no longer need this outline so I'm going to select it and press the delete key. The next thing that I want to do is I want to move this reshaped text up to the original text and so I'm going to select it and move it up while I'm holding the control key so that I can move it straight up and then I'm going to align the bottom of the text. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to move this text to the bottom by pressing this button. And then I need to shrink this shadow down a little bit. So I'm going to grab this arrow on the top and I'm going to pull this down. And now it looks like a shadow in the background. And now I want to move this down a little bit to give myself some more space to work. And next I'll be selecting the Circle and Ellipse tool. I'm going to set its color to yellow. And I'm going to draw an ellipse shape. And then I'm going to click on the Selection tool so that I can come up here and move this to the background. And I want to give this ellipse a blur. So I'm going to go up to the object menu and click the fill and stroke to bring up the fill and stroke dialog box. And I'm going to set the blur to 10. And I'll go ahead and close this dialog box since I'm done with it. And then next I want to select the square and rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a square and change its color to black and then I'm going to hit the selection tool and move this black which is a background to the back and then I can come here and select this yellow ellipse that I drew and now I can change it to white and now it looks like that I have text with a shadow background and a spotlight on it. And then the next thing I'm going to do is use a filter to apply snow to this text. So I select the text and then go up to the filters menu and select protrusions and snow crest. And then you can set the live preview button here and then with this drift size here you can set this to a smaller or larger drift and the display will update while you change this since you have the live preview button pressed and I'm satisfied with this so I'm going to click on apply and then I can say close to get rid of this dialog box and now I have my text with a shadow background in a spotlight with snow on it thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment. Have a great day.